the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three French hands, two turtle doves and a pear tree. Christmas, everybody. I am Tony Pantera. It is very nice to meet you. I realize what you are probably thinking at the moment. Might it be a little too early to be having alcohol? Normally, you may be right. However, take it from a guy who used to hate Christmas. And by hate, I mean utterly despise. When it is Christmas time, it is all right to have a little fun. Now, I did not always used to think this way. You could say I was somewhat traumatized as a youth. It was Christmas Eve, 25 years ago. That's the Garlano Motel. It was a very famous spot in Florida that was used for many illegal activities, if you know what I mean. The guy with the black hat, that is my father, Luca Pantera, the big boss of the Pantera crime family. The guy next to him is my Zio Salvatore, his brother. They got a tip about the type of money that this motel was making. And so obviously they decided that they needed to go down to Florida and rob the place on Christmas Eve. As soon as they get out of the office, they found themselves surrounded by police officers. My father sees all the police officers, falls down dead. My Zio Salvatore also falls down dead himself. From that moment on, I no longer liked Christmas. It no longer held any biblical or monetary meaning to me. So I decided to follow in my old man's footsteps and put together my own crew. It was me, Joey Deuces, Mikey the Nose, and Emiliano Bonesi. People knew we meant business. We owned the city. But as it always goes, nothing lasts forever. Meet the Latanya brothers, Benny and Frankie. We did business together for years. Everybody made money. Then the FBI started coming after all of us, talking about the RICO Act. Once that happened, it was every man for himself. The Latanyas decided to rat me out those bastards. I believe between you and me, Frankie was still upset that his old girlfriend left him for me when we were all kids. Apparently, things like that leave scars on people for many years. I think Socrates wrote a best-selling book about it. Obviously, I was too smart for the FBI. They could not find me nowhere. Maria, shall we make some pasta for lunch? With the bread plasma? Whichever one you want. Let's go to the kitchen. Could that be? I don't know. Mrs. Pantera? Rosalia Pantera? I'm FBI agent Caldera. This is my associate, Hobson. May I please come in? Yeah, you want some coffee? Thank you, no. The reason we're here, Mrs. Pantera, is we're looking for your son, Antonio. Do you know where he is? He's in a lot of trouble. We're trying to protect him. Trying to make sure that nothing bad happens to him. Would you happen to know where he is? We really need to talk to him. They even tried to get my mother, Rosalia Pantera, to talk to them. But Ma was always two steps ahead of the game. I don't know, Ma. What is she saying? I don't know. She only speaks Italian. Ma can be a handful, but you learn how to live with her after a while. Finally, the FBI caught up to me. Tony! Ma! Hey, come on, guys. Let me say hello to my mother real quick. Okay, with you, Chief. Yeah, let's make it fast. Come on. Come on. I'm right here. Don't worry about 
for nothing, ma. I got it. Thank you, Roy. How you doing, Dutch? It is very nice to see you again. Order in the cart. The Latanias were going to throw me under the bus. So I flipped the script and made a deal with the FBI. I was not going to go to prison for those two assholes. I was put in the witness protection program. They sent me to live at a place where I could keep a very low profile. What's your name again? FBI agent Martin Berg. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Do you mind if I call you Marty? Actually, I prefer Martin. Anyway, so Marty, not for nothing, but do we have to listen to this Christmas music at the moment? Well, it's Christmas time. Gotta stay in the holiday spirit, right? Yeah, I do not know about all that. What do you mean? I don't do Christmas, all right? It bothers me. Christmas is the best holiday of them all. Well, how can it bother you? I don't know. Something about it bothers me, makes me very irritable, and normally I am not an angry person. Hold on. Hey! Excuse me. Would you mind moving a little faster, please? Oh my god, dude, are you serious? What's your problem? My problem is that my friend and I need to be somewhere, and you are out here working on your tent. Bro, there is no need to be so aggressive. Bro? This guy called me bro? I look like his brother to you? All right, listen. I will make this very simple. You have three seconds to move, or I am going to get out and put my foot right up your ass. That's what I thought. Sorry about that. What was I saying? Well, you're saying how you're usually not an angry guy. Exactly. Normally, I am not an angry guy. I'm a very happy, fun-loving kind of guy. Keep your eye on the road. You got it, Tony. Yeah. You got it. Well, here we are. What do you think? Oh, yes. Very nice. This place will do very well for me. Uh, yeah. I'll pat myself on the back. I thought you'd like it. Nice, cozy place for you. Absolutely. It is going to work out perfect. Hey, Martin. Can you guys get an espresso maker in here? Well, we got you a coffee maker. I don't do coffee. I only do espresso. It is healthier for you. You live longer that way. Yeah, 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 no problem. I'll pick one up for you. Thank you. Get a good brain, too. I can always tell the difference. You got it. <laughs> oh, what is this? <laughs> well, I took the liberty. I figured that, you know, it's your first Christmas away from your family and that it would help you not feel so lonely. Hey, I already told you, I do not do Christmas. Oh, God. Come on, Uncle Scrooge. Give it a couple days. I'm sure it'll grow on you. You must really want me to lose it out here or something. <laughs> yeah, lose it. That's a good one. <laughs> oh, my just I don't bend all I mean, kissed. Uh, excuse me, what was that? Oh, no, no, nothing. All I said in Italian was that my heart is very overcome with happiness towards you because of all the kindness you are giving <laughs> towards me. <laughs> oh, jeez, Tony, thank you. You're oh, my pleasure. Yeah. I'm just doing my job. Yeah. Which, by the way, I need to be down back at headquarters. So why don't you go ahead, get settled in. I'll be back tomorrow, and we can go over some job options for Amazing. you. Amazing. Sounds like a wonderful time. I cannot wait. Oh, oh, and remember, if anyone asks, your name is Herman Price. Herman Price. What a great name. I love it. Oh, yes, it is very suburban. Great name. Yeah, it does have a good ring to it, doesn't it? Hey, Marty, before you go, might you know of a good Italian restaurant around here that I could go to? Oh, yeah, I'd have to see the Olive Garden. The Olive Garden? Are you being serious at the moment? Yeah, why? I mean, don't you like their soup, salad, and breadsticks? I will see you tomorrow, Marty. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. You have a good day, too, and enjoy yourself. You know, make yourself at home. It's my pleasure to be looking over you and, um, you know, you know, catch some sports. See you tomorrow. Satellite, okay. Yeah, I'll see you soon. Okay, Wonderful. good, good. Take a hot bath or something. We'll do. Okay. Yeah.
I need booze. This stupid thing. Do this, I'm gonna whack this cop tomorrow, I'll tell you that. Come in, come in. Here we are. Welcome to my humble castle. Oh, wow, this is awesome. Thank you. Hey, what was your name again? Oh, don't be silly. My name is Brittany, remember? Brittany, oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> hey, Brittany, what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm an aerobics instructor. Wow, an aerobics instructor. You mm -hmm. must be very smart. I cannot even spell aerobics. Oh, it's easy. It's just A-R-O-B-I-K-S. You see, I knew you were smart. <laughs> I had a feeling about you. <laughs> oh, and I also um, teach nude yoga. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. You are messing with me at the moment. <laughs> no, I should show you my signature move. Yeah, let us go see her right now. Totally. Are you very bendable? Uh, duh. Oh, this is going to be a fun night. <laughs> right this way. Christmas is coming. The snowflakes will be falling. It's the most wonderful time of year. So hang up your stockings. Put the tinsel on the tree. Good morning. Christmas is coming, my dear. Uh. Wake up! Tony, we had a meeting today to discuss job interviews. Oh, hey Marty, how are you? Was that today? It must have slipped my mind. Ugh. Hi. Who's your friend? Oh, this is, uh... Hey, honey, what was your name again? <laughs> Brittany. Brittany! This is my friend Brittany. I met her last night at the bar. Nice to meet you. Good morning, nice to meet you too. She is an aerobics instructor and also does nude yoga. Hey, show my friend that thing that you do. Very flexible. First you put the foot here. No, that's okay. That's all right. No. Uh, thanks anyway. Um, thanks for offering. Oh, okay. wait. Do that other pose too. Oh, the upside down one? Yeah, look at this. You are going to love totally, it. No, 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 it's okay. Listen, you know what? I'm gonna go and wait in the other room. You guys stay in here and get dressed and uh Marty, come on. Have a little fun. Take your jacket off. This is the bathroom. Are you positive? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hey, no, no. You guys can I'll just be in the other room, okay? Doesn't he know that yoga is so good for you in the morning? I mean, I happen to know this personally. You are very bendable, by the way. <laughs> Time of year the reindeer fly. You can't see them on the sleigh ride across the sky. So, anyways, I had a very nice time with you last night. It was a lot of fun. Totally. We gotta do it again sometime, okay? Absolutely. You let me know when. Oh, you're so sweet. Okay. Bye. It was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Bye, honey. Yeah. Take it easy. What was her name again? I don't remember. Not bad though, right? Listen, Tony, I know you're lonely out here, but having wild drinking nights with random women may not be the best way for you to get started. Hey, Marty, I hear you. Believe me, I do. But you have to understand something. You guys took my family away from me. You took all my friends away from me. Basically, you took my entire life away from me. All I have left is women and booze. You take both of those away from me, you might as well slip both of my wrists and let me bleed out. That's so drastic. Come on, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. I bet you get a lot of women, huh? huh? <laughs> well, you know, I'm sort of on the quiet side when it comes to paying a female scene. <laughs> yeah, right, quiet side. I bet I could learn a lot from you about women. You know what? You and I ought to go out together some night. Yeah, you know what, if you're interested, Monday nights. Yeah. A few of the boys and I okay. get together at my house for bingo night. I make my famous cheese dip. Gets pretty wild. Amazing. Sounds like a good plan. You let me know when and I will be there. As a matter of fact, I will bring you a very nice bottle of Sambuca. What's Sambuca? Don't worry, you will love it. All right, okay, fine. So just listen, do me a favor, 
Cut back on all the heavy partying, okay? You need to keep a low profile, remember? All right, all right, I got you, no problem. Okay, and listen, Tony, I set up a job interview at the employment center this afternoon for you. Do you have a nice suit you can wear? Do I have a nice suit? Hey, if there is one thing I know about, it is wearing nice suits. Mr. Price, I assume. I'm Denise Klein. Nice to meet you. How you doing? Please, call me Tony. I mean, call me Herman. Please, take a seat. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Can I offer you something to drink? Yes, I will take a whiskey on the rocks. <laughs> You're funny. Good sense of humor. Sense of humor? Oh, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> so, my initial question for you is about your work history. The entire section was left blank. Yeah, you could say I was somewhat self-employed. You mean like a family-owned business? Yeah, it was definitely for a family. OK, that makes sense. And uh, what were your job duties and your job title? I was the boss. I said something, and they did it. It was that simple. Mm-hmm, I see. And you were based on the East Coast? No, I did business wherever I could make money. I do not discriminate about these kind of things. I get it. I'm bi-coastal myself. Oh, no, no, no. I am only into women. I am not into men, you know? I mean, do not get me wrong. Yeah, I had a few threesomes, but only with women. <laughs> Would you mind sharing a work-related incident where you had to speak to a member of your staff about his performance needing improvement? Absolutely. I would be very happy to. You see, I had this guy that was not earning enough. Mm -hmm. You mean like in sales? Yeah, like in sales, yeah. And were you able to coach him into improving his performance? As a matter of fact, I was. You see, I basically told this employee that if his work performance did not improve, bad things might start happening to him. <laughs> I'm sorry, bad things? Yeah, you know, you got to motivate him sometimes. Know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I told the guy, maybe one night me and the boys take him up to a tall building. The boys? And we throw him down. Or maybe one night he is out to dinner with his wife. And all of a sudden, he gets whacked. Whacked? Or perhaps he is starting his car in the morning. And all of a sudden, boom, it blows up on him. Boom. <laughs> boom. Yeah, you know. <laughs> You're funny. And I got to tell you, ever since then, I never had a problem with the guy again. <laughs> all right. I, um, I think I have all the information I need here. That's it? You do not need nothing else from no. me? No, no. Thank you, Mr. Price. I will let you know if any jobs are right for you. All right, yeah. I gotta say, this was very nice, you know? Here, a little something for you. Buy yourself something nice, honey. It's OK. <laughs> Go ahead, yeah. Merry Christmas, Mr. Price. <laughs> Again with that goddamn Merry Christmas. I swear to God. I don't know. I, I got to get my head examined. I don't know. I need alcohol. I don't know what I need. <laughs> Yeah, Marty, I don't even know what happened. I did everything you said. Yeah, I wore the suit. I wore a nice suit. Yeah, I don't know about the lady. Yeah, all right. OK, yeah, we'll see what happens tomorrow. OK, buddy, have a good night. Yeah, all right, bye. Can I get you another drink? Hey, what's your name, by the way? My name is Al. Al, what a great name. My father's name happens to be Al. Al, let me tell you something. I go to look for work today, right? I wear this very nice suit. I'm my normal charming self. The lady does not even hire me. Can you believe that? So, do you want another drink or not? Yeah, all right. Make it a double. What the hell? Okay. I don't know what's going on with California people. Maybe you don't like white suits. I don't know. A double it is. Yeah, thanks. Don't do me no favors. Enjoy. California. Yeah, thank you. You gotta be kidding me right now. Merry Christmas! Hey, 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 buddy, spare me all that Merry Christmas stuff, all right? I don't do Christmas. You and me both? <clears throat> you do realize you are wearing a Santa Claus outfit at the moment. Oh, yeah. 
Well, whatever pays the bills. And how do you get paid anyway? Los Angeles Children's Hospital. Well, you mean like a kid's hospital? Not just any hospital. It's a special hospital for Christmas. They're big, big donations. Well, we're talking like a lot of money. Lots of money. All the rich muckety-mucks, you know, all this guilt. They bring all this cash, envelope after envelope after envelope. And the head guy, he puts it in his box, puts it in the cabinet, locks it up, and then the day after Christmas, they deposit the money. I'm sorry, how rude of me. Tony Pantera, very nice to meet you. Oh, my name is not Tony. No, 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 I'm Tony, I'm Tony. Oh. What's your name, what's your name? David O'Malley. O'Malley? Mm -hmm. What are you, like Irish? 100%. Eh, that's all right. I won't hold it against you. Al, do me a favor. Get around for my friend here, my tab. Don't you think he's had enough? Hey, he's Irish. It's like water for those people. Those people, water? Irish? Yeah. For you, I'll keep pouring. Thank you. My friend. All right, buddy. Good to meet you, huh? Salute. Thank you for the drink. So listen, David, how about you and me go over to that booth over there? I would like to discuss some business with you. Absolutely. Yeah, come on. Yeah. We'll be right back. Keep yeah. an eye. Yeah. yeah, it's good. Don't worry. I kind of like this now that I think about it. It's a good look. So, this kid's hospital, would you say that you are relatively free to move around? No one's going to bother you? Absolutely. I've been working there for five years now. Hold on a second. You've been working at Santa Claus for five years. And, and also the Easter Bunny. Why do you think I drink so much? Yeah, I guess that makes sense if you put it like that. Let me ask you something. Would you be interested in a profit-making opportunity? Absolutely. All right, good. What if you, me, and maybe a couple other guys decide to knock off this kid's hospital on Christmas Eve? You think we could do something like that? What, are you kidding me? I happen to have a lot of experience in this particular line of work, a lot. Really? Yeah, and it was not until this very moment right now, sitting here with you, I realized all of this, everything, me and you, this and that, this is all my destiny. Destiny? Yes, you see, many years ago, my father, rest in peace, attempted a similar heist on Christmas Eve, and he failed. So this is like, what do you call it? The universe's way of giving him a second opportunity to me, his son. Yeah, it's really deep, right? Oh, that's some deep shit. Yeah, Aristotle used to write about this stuff all the time. The sins of the son atone for the sins of the father. Your father's name is Aristotle? No, 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 Aristotle was a poet. Oh, the painter. Yeah, he painted, exactly. Yeah. So what do you say, are you in or what? Absolutely. All right, that's what I like there. Come on, let's go do another round. Oh, that sounds so good. All right. You know, I used to date an Irish girl before. When I, when I first started working in the hospital, I, I was a leprechaun. A leprechaun? Mm -hmm. Hey, this guy was a leprechaun. But she, <laughs> she, she didn't want to be married to a leprechaun, so she, she loved me. Well, that's too bad, you know? But you know what? You're still a very handsome guy. Don't worry about it. You're a beautiful man. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey, it has taste. What can I do? I know. But you see, guys, this is what I'm talking about. We gotta stay single. No labels, no commitments, nothing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, get two beers. Yes, sir. Separate checks. You got it. I have to leave. Hey. Hey, hey, you see that girl over there? I do. She is beautiful. I gotta go talk to her. You should. I I'm gonna take him out. Okay, you do that. I got this, all right? You got that. Ah, how do I look? You look fine. Watch. Hello. How are you this evening? Fine. Good. You know, I could not help but notice that your date asked this man for separate tabs. Oh, he's not my date. We just work together. Yeah, okay, but I mean, why let the lady pay in the first place? I can pay for myself. I don't need anyone buying me drinks. Yeah, 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 all right, I get that, I get that. All I'm trying to say to you is, if you were out with me, I wouldn't make you pay for nothing. Really? 
Is that right? Yeah. You ought to let me buy you the next round. No, I'm good. Thank you. No, really, it's no problem. Al, get something for the lid. Sure. I'm fine. <clears throat> hey, Sam. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Nelly, is this guy bothering you? I'm fine. I can handle it. The lady's fine. Why don't you take a walk? <laughs> take a walk. Who still talks like that? I do. Why? Do you have a problem with the way that I talk? Oh, what? We're gonna go outside and rumble now? No, I don't need to go outside. No. I can't handle you. Okay, yeah, all right, guys, enough. Stop it, both of you. Thank you so much for the offer. I'm fine. All right, all right. Okay. All right, no problem. Have a nice night. Thank you. Yeah. Great. Oh, my God. Merry Christmas, Guido. Woo! I hate worse than being called a Guido. Oh, what's it? People telling me Merry Christmas. Okay, all right, freeze. Whoa, 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 take it easy. What are you Put your hands on the bar. What? You're a cop? Yeah, we both are. Put your hands on the bar. I don't believe this. Okay. Hey, hey, wake up. Hey, they're arresting me. All right, me. Wake Romeo, up. you're coming down to the court. Wake up. Me. They're Come on. Me. Oh, hold on. Go. Take it easy. What are you doing? No, we're going wake to up. Uh, hey, let's go take wake a minute. Wake up. Trip. Enough with hold the on, drugs. Hold on. Hold on. I got to say something. No. If you wanted to be alone with me, all you had to do was ask. Move. This isn't necessary. Let's go. Come on. Can I sit up front? All right, over here. Come on. No, it's not. You're done. Come on. Go. Oh. Detective Reed? Yes. Good morning. I'm FBI Agent Martin Berg. Hello, Agent Berg. How are my friends at the FBI doing? Well, their hands are full right now. Hmm. How can I help you? You have one of my boys here, and I came to get him out. Who's that? Tony Pantera. Oh. I had the pleasure of meeting him last night. He's very charming. <laughs> yeah, and so it is. So I came here to get him out. Sorry, that's not going to happen. Why not? He assaulted my partner last night. All right, but he's under my custody, so I need to get him out right now. Well, he should have thought about that before he picked a fight in a bar. <laughs> OK. Detective Reed, Mr. Pantera is in the witness protection program. The longer he stays in here, the sooner someone could recognize okay, him. OK, well, he's staying in here. I'm sorry. <laughs> OK. Look, the way I heard it is that he was antagonized by your partner, OK? I'm not gonna let you keep him in here for just getting into a bar mm -hmm. fight. Well, you're gonna have to, because I'm not letting him out. No, you're gonna let him out right now. I outrank you. You want me to make a call down to the bureau, have him contact your superiors, because I will. Fine. Follow me. Thank you. So, we're all there at the party, and I look at Frank, and I say, Frank, I am very honored that you would even come to my party. Since you are already here, would you mind singing a song for everybody? Holy shit, what did he say? I swear to God, on my father's grave, Frank turns to me and says, yeah, kid, whatever you want. They give him the microphone, and he started to sing a song. That's crazy, Tony. You knew Sinatra? Yeah, you know, he was a family friend. Great guy, by the way. I got a million stories. Hey, Detective Reed. Very nice to see you again. You are looking amazing today. What the hell is going on here? What do you mean, Detective Reed? Why is he out of his cell? Oh, I can answer that. You see, my back was starting to bother me a little bit. So I had Griggs unlock the door so I could move around, loosen it up, you know? And I gotta say, it is a lot better now, so thank you. Is that an espresso? Yes. I don't do American coffee. That's the truth. So, I sent Griggs across the street to get me a double espresso. It is very good, by the way. Thank you. You and I are going to have a talk in my office later. Hey, Marty. How are we today? Better than you. Come on. I came to get you out of here. Against my better judgment. Excuse me. Do you think perhaps I could see you again sometime when you are not too busy? What? I would love to take you out for coffee or dinner, whatever you want. Get him out of here. Come on. I am asking you out here. Come on. That? is never going to happen. Not even if he were the last guy in the entire world. I am telling you, never, never, never bet against me. I can't take you right now. Where are you going? I'm going to call you. She wanted me. You saw that, right? Guys, you saw that? Absolutely. She, did. she, she wants, wants me. Let's go, Tony. Hold on. 
Victor. Let me make a few calls. Maybe I can get you out of here. Thank you, Tony. You got it. I appreciate it. Stay strong. Griggs, this is for you. Thank you again for everything. I really appreciate it. Merry Christmas, Tony. Again with that goddamn Merry Christmas, Marty. Well, it's that time of year, Tony. Whatever. Come on, go buy me breakfast. Great. Guys, I'll see you. Have oh. a good one, Tony. Bye, Tony. Listen, do me a favor. What? Stay out of trouble. Don't go back to that bar again. Hey, Marty, I learned my lesson. From here on out, I am never going back into that bar again. Hey, 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 we still gonna rob this kid's hospital on Christmas Eve or what? Well, how did you get out so fast? Let's just say I happen to know the right people. Well, then let's celebrate. No, 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 hold on a second. I asked you something. We're gonna rob this kid's hospital on Christmas Eve, or what? Well, we, yes, but okay. I think we need, we need a couple more people. Don't worry about that. I took care of it all already. Hey, look hey. at me, Joey Deuces. Good, how you doing? Good. How you doing? Hmm? Mikey the Nose. Tony. Tony, you're looking skinny. What, they don't feed you in California? I know, Oh, my right? gosh. Emiliano. Hey, hey, Been too long, my friend. How I are know. you? Ben, how are you, Ben? Seriously, see. You know, I cannot believe you guys came. I Really, it means a lot to me that you guys came. Come on, you called me in. You know, seeing you guys here right now, I am feeling very, very, what's the word? Very overwhelmed. I'm, I'm very overwhelmed with emotion. You got you know, feelings. I, I got, I'm got feeling feelings. something. I'm very emotional to see. We were kids together. We were kids together. You know what? You still the boss. You call us, we come. I guess it's like Sun Tzu used to say. You know, Sun Tzu, the singer, the guy that sang, you know? Tell me who my friends are, and I will tell you who you are. You heard that one before? Sure. You know, Sun Tzu, the yeah, singer, yeah, the singer. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My yeah. favorite. David O'Malley, meet my buddies. How's it going, pal? Please. I've known these guys my whole life. How are you? Okay, no, please. All right. So what do you guys say? Shall we get a drink at the bar? Yeah, sure. Al, oh, get one for my friends. Go ahead. All right. Al, set it up for them. How's it going, Tony? Hey, you made it. Good to see you. I made it? Guys, come back here real quick. Meet Marty Bergrino. He is a friend of ours out here on the West Coast, if you know what I mean. How you doing, guy? Fine. Good to meet you, guy. You need anything? You let us know. Anything. Thank you. Martin. Benvenuto nella famiglia. Look at girl. What? It is an honor to meet you on this day, Godfather. Santa? Anyways, guys, listen. Marty and I need to talk business for like five minutes. Give us a second. We will be right back, OK? Sure, oh, good. Well, well. I went to your house. When I saw you weren't there, I knew you'd be here. All right, listen to me for a second, all right? My three friends over there, those are made guys. If they find out that you're FBI, they are going to kill you, and then they are going to kill me. Now, I don't know about you personally, but me, I do not feel like dying tonight. Oh, great, so now what are we supposed to do? I told them you are a wise guy. Start acting like a wise guy. Tony, I don't think I can act like a wise guy. You're gonna have to if you want to live. Come on, loosen up. You're a wreck. Loosen up. Move the hands a little. Move the hands. Come on, talk with Oh! oh. No, more from the diaphragm. Right here. Oh! oh. Good, good. Now, oh. It's your wife. Oh! We're gonna die tonight. Hey, Paisans, you know what it is with these broads? They don't know what they want. They don't want a nice guy. They don't want a bad boy. Half the time, they don't even know what the hell they want. Ah, forget about it. I'll drink right. to that. They're all crazy. Yeah. They bust their balls to do this, and then they bust their balls to do that. And at the end of the day, nothing ever makes them happy. Why even bust the balls in the first place? Yeah, you're right about that. Of course I am. You know, I've been divorced two times. <laughs> I'm better off now. Uh -huh. <laughs> of course you are, buddy. Hey, Al, 
Why don't you get your friends and my friends and I another round? Put it on my tab. No problem, you got it. Hey, thank you. Uh, Mr. Mel Emil Emiliano, yeah. do they have like fancy Italian restaurants in Italy, you know, like Sizzler with, with a salad bar? Sizzler? Fancy? Fancy like that. Yeah. In Italy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Done. Dove l'hai trovato questo idiota? Si è bruciato il cervello. Ma che ne frega? Che ne frega? What? What did he say? Oh, no, no, nothing. What he said in Italian is he's very happy to be around you because you remind him of his dead brother back in Italy that was murdered by a giraffe. Yeah. Oh, that's that warms my heart. Sad. That warms my heart. Very sad story. You're my PCM. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I want a piece of that. Oh, yeah? You like that? You ought to go talk to her. You think I should? Hey, ask these guys. If there's one thing I know, it's women, right? Absolutely. That woman wants you. It's all in the eyes. All right, all right I'll go talk to her. Yeah, all right, I'll come with you. I can tell, killer. No, Martin. No, Martin. Walk cool, walk cool. There you go, like this. Hello. Hi. What's your name, beautiful? My name is Saint. Saint, very nice to meet you. How are you doing tonight? Pretty good, thank you. Tony Pantera, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Lisa. Lisa, that's incredible. My mother's name happens to be Lisa. Oh. Lisa, I would like you to meet my cousin, Marty. Marty and me saw you over there, and we thought we would come over and say hello. Hi. Nice to meet you, doll. Nice to meet you, too. So listen, I will leave the two of you alone to get better acquainted. You, I will see you later. All right. OK. <laughs> Hey, Lisa, what are you drinking? I want to buy you. It's a Cosmo. Al, get a Cosmo for the lady here. Put it on my tab. You got it, bud. Tell me about this, okay? Don't worry about it. But I do have to say something. I think this was all that goddamn Christmas music. It put a bad omen on the place. I'm telling you. You may need some medical attention. Guys, come on. Let's get the car. Let's get out. I need an aspirin. I need a whiskey.
This is Reed. Hey, Detective Reed. Good morning. How are you today? This is your favorite Italian guy. Can I help you, Mr. Pantera? Yes. As a matter of fact, you can. You may or may not have heard that there was a recent attempt on my life last night. I did hear that. How are you doing? Well, besides the fact that there is a rat in my family, I would say I am doing relatively all right. Well, good. I'm happy to hear you're OK. Thank you. I am very moved that you would even say that to me. Anyways, I came across some recent info about those two bastards that tried to whack me last night. And why, why can't you ask Agent Burke? Marty's kind of, you know, sleeping it off from last night, if you know what I mean. OK, uh, do you want to come talk to me in my office? Believe me, I would love to. However, after the recent attempt on my life, it is not safe for me to be outside. OK. Um, so what do you suggest? Griggs tells me you are off at 6 o'clock tonight. Perhaps you could arrive at my home at 7, and then I will tell you everything. I don't think that's very appropriate. Relax. It is not what you think it is. You're a police officer, right? You are supposed to help people. My life is being threatened. I need your help. OK. Um, yeah, I'll be over at, at 7 to get all your info, and then I'm leaving. Um, your address is what we have on file, right? Yes, the same exact place. All right, I will see you at 7 o'clock. It is a date. No, 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 this isn't a date. It's not a date. Who said it was a date? I got to go. Bye. I can't stand that guy. Hey, Detective Reed. Very nice to see you again. Hello, Mr. Pantera. Please, call me Tony. Come on in. Go ahead. What's all this? Well, it was getting a little close to dinner time, so I thought I would make something. Wait, this is not what we agreed on. Yes, I know. But as I said, it is dinner time. I am a bit hungry. I am assuming you might also be a bit hungry. No, I told you, this is not a date. It is not a date. Two people eating dinner at the same time. That is all. Are you sure? Because this looks like a date to me. Hey. You have already arrested me one time, right? If I get out of line, you can always arrest me a second time. It's that simple. You play me. That is impossible. You are too smart to get played. Mm-hmm. I think you played me. Look at this pasta. Have you ever had Italian food made for you by a real Italian before? Nope. Not yet. Then what are you waiting for? Please, be my guest. You don't have any Christmas decorations up. Yeah, I do not really do Christmas. Oh, sorry. It's my favorite holiday. You may or may not have noticed that there is a glass of wine right in front of you. Do you like wine? If it's good wine, I like it. After you. Salud. Salud. What we got a minute to mock for? Relax. No one's going to find this here. Besides, she ain't going to talk. So what is this? You said he wasn't going to have a gun. Mine is set back. Relax. Mine is set back my ass. We came here to kill Pantera. You will this time. Don't worry about it. But how are you so sure? What have I told you? That Tony was going to pull a job at this very hospital. Go on. I'm listening. I just said it. He's going to pull a job at this very hospital. Come on, let's have a little more. Oh my god, you're crazy. No, how am I supposed to get home? Don't worry about it. I will call an Uber for you personally. Oh. Come on, <laughs> okay, come yeah, on. I'm come sure on. you will. Have a little bit. Come on. God. So how do you end up being a cop in the first place? Um, my dad's a cop, my grandfather's a cop. Oh. What a gentleman. I do what I can. Yeah. My two brothers are cops. It's kind of our family business. Yeah. I know all about being in the family business. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, except ours is a little less illegal. We don't, you know, make phone calls to whack people or anything like that. Yeah, I guess you do have a point about that. Sorry. I shouldn't have said that. No, 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 it's all right. I like seeing this side of you. It's nice. It's a pleasant surprise. Like what? Like, you know, more laid back. Not so uptight. Okay, um, where do you get off telling me uh, what I should be like or how I should act? It's not oh, okay. no. No, no, that's not what I'm saying to you. Oh, so you're just feeding me lines like all the other females in your life? Okay. No, that's not what I am saying to no, you. No, I know your type. All too well. You're you're a bad boy, heartbreaker, just smooth talker, charmer, ugh, gross Italian guy. <laughs> oh wait, hey, uh, sweetheart, I'm a Tony Pantera, and I'd like to take you out sometime. Oh, beautiful! Uh, you gotta let me cook for you. Oh, honey, do you like wine? Oh, salute, baby. Oh, wait, don't arrest me. Okay, oh, guess that just for me. <laughs> Come on. Stop talking crazy, will you? You're starting uh, to upset me now. You liked me from the moment you saw me. Please. You have been so into me, it is not even funny anymore. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, okay. Keep dreaming. Um, it kills you that I did not throw myself at you like all your other little chicks. <laughs> And it kills you that I don't, so. Don't even flatter yourself, honey. I am not into you like that anymore. You are too stuck up. Oh, really? Yeah? You don't, you don't like me anymore? Nope, not anymore. Good. Good. Great. Wonderful. Awesome. Cool, okay. Come with me. How did you sleep? Oh, I slept fine. Good, good. Yeah. Would you like me to make you an espresso or breakfast or something like that? Oh, no, 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 thanks. Um, yeah. I, I should go. I oh. have to go. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Okay, yeah. Um, hey, listen, uh, about last night... Hey, relax. Don't worry. I know exactly what it was. Two people having fun. That is all. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. I don't want to lead you on or anything. Oh, no, no, no. I, I get it. I know what it was. It's all right. So, do you have any plans for Christmas Eve? Nah, probably not. I will make a little pasta, and that will be that. It's Christmas Eve. You shouldn't be alone. I told you already. I do not do Christmas. Uh, because of what happened to your father 25 years ago? Somebody has been reading over my file. <laughs> just because something bad happened to you on Christmas doesn't mean you should just forget the holiday altogether. It is not that easy. You know what I mean? I happen to have very bad memories about Christmas. Well, maybe some bad memories will happen, but I think Christmas is a time for us to be our best selves to one another, you know? Unselfish and kind. It is not that simple, unfortunately. Yeah, but I don't know. I think everyone should have Christmas spirit every year. I mean. It reminds us of what's important. Family, friends, loved ones. I mean, life is just too short. I mean, I just, I think we should enjoy the moments while we still have them. Yeah, maybe, possibly. You might be right, I don't know, I don't know. I have to go. Um, try to stay out of trouble, Tony. Hey, that is the first time you called me Tony. 
Merry Christmas. Thank you. Yeah. Merry Christmas, Natalie. Mi sa mica dire dove siamo. I don't speak English. I don't understand you. What do you want? Eh, 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 Hey, 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 Hello? Yeah, Agent Berg. Yes, that's me. Who am I speaking to? You better get down to the Los Angeles Children's Hospital immediately. There's gonna be a robbery going on with somebody you know really, really well. Hello? Hello? Tony! This is Reed. How you doing, Reed? Hey, listen. I got a tip for you. You got to come down here to the Los Angeles Children's Hospital. Someone you know really well is going to do something really, really bad. OK, who is this? Hello? 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 Who is this? Oh, no, look, Tony, it's those hooligans again. Merry Christmas, Tony. Hey, look who it is, the Latanya brothers. Hey, very nice to see you guys again. Hey, happy holidays. Thank you. That is very kind of you to say to me. But I am so sorry. My friend and I need to be going somewhere. So I will see you guys at a different time. How about New Year's? Does New Year's work for you? Absolutely. New Year's, let's all get together. 
All right, Tony, give me the money, you understand? Before we kill you. How did you guys even find out about the money? Your whole crew turned on you, Tony. They told us everything. As a matter of fact, they got a getaway car waiting for us right outside, right now. I guess everybody has their own price. I guess so, Tony. Now hand over the cash, nice and slow. All right, all right, take it easy, no problem. On three, understand? Understand. One, two, three! Go, go! Let's get them! Let's get them, forget about it. Let's go and get the money, let's go. I want the cops to get them. Come on, let's go, let's go, come on. Benny and Frankie LaTanya, this is the LAPD and the FBI. We have you surrounded. What the hell? Where's the guys? Put it on my tab. How'd it go with the LaTanyas? Perfect. They're coming tonight to try to kill you, just as you planned. Good. I want you guys to meet with them tomorrow. Tell them you figured out another way to get me. Done. Do not take another step or we will open fire. Lay down on the ground, hands behind your head, right now. That bastard Tony was behind all this. That son of a bitch set us up. This is your last warning. Lay down on the ground, hands behind your head, or we will open fire. Oh, come on. Come on, let's go. Oh, let me out. Oh. Who is in the back seat? Go ahead, Tony. Let's stand his help. See you later. Don't worry about it. Come on, man. I got you, man. Right, man. Come on. We're going to call Michael. Let's go. Come on. Get out of here. You got some burn, all right? Hey, what do you have? You got some burn, all right? I meant to ask you, how'd you know to show up here tonight? Oh, I got an anonymous phone call at my office saying there was a robbery here with someone I knew. I got the same exact phone call. He had a New York accent. Wait, mine had a New York accent. Swear to God, if he is not in his apartment right now, I'm going to throw his ass back in jail. Tony? She's letting me down. Hey, were you guys looking for me? Tony, have you been here all night? Yeah, I told you I was going to stay in tonight, remember? Are you sure you didn't go out at all? No, why? Well, we caught the Latanyas trying to rob the Los Angeles Children's Hospital tonight. Wow. They attempted to rob a kid's hospital on Christmas Eve. Those guys have got no class. Yeah, they said that you were there and that you set them up. Of course they are going to say that. Those two have been blaming me for everything since we were kids. I gotta tell you, that song gets very old after a while. So you're saying that you had nothing to do with this? No. Were there security cameras at the place? Yeah, we checked those. And? They were mysteriously turned off right before the robbery by a man dressed in a Santa Claus outfit. So? If there were no security cameras and I was not found at the scene of the crime, I guess I'm good then, right, Marty? Yeah, Tony, you're good. I mean, come on. You guys really think I am going to rob a kid's hospital on Christmas Eve? That is not what Christmas is all about, right, Marty? No, it's definitely not. You know, a wise person recently told me Christmas is about being the best person you can to one another. That is all I can do. You got that right, buddy. Marty, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Tony. Come here. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love you, man. <laughs> give me a second, will you? Yeah, of course. I'll give you a second. So, you, me, you, are we going to continue to act like we do not have a thing for one another, or what? Mm, I can't keep pretending anymore. Good, because neither can I. Well, okay. Uh, <laughs> looks like it's getting a little late. I think I'm gonna go home and call the night. And uh, <laughs> yeah, um, you guys just, you know, uh, <laughs> continue to do what you're doing and uh, 
you know, uh, Merry Christmas. I did not think that he was going to leave. story with a very happy ending. By coincidence, a big Hollywood director decided to make a movie about my life. I made a little money on this. I was able to buy this house. The rest of the money I had, I donated to other kids and people that need a little extra help around the holidays. I love Christmas. It's all about giving back to other people. Tony. Oh. What are you doing in here all alone? Everyone's asking for you back at the party. Oh, yes, sorry, honey. I was making myself another one. Oh, okay, well, come on. Let's... Hold on a second. Hold on. I need to tell you something. Okay. You see, I was standing here thinking about everything, and I realized all of this, I would not be here right now if it was not for you. So what I am trying to tell you is thank you for being you. No problem. I do what I can. Now let's go party. So, you want to get married or what? It took you long enough to ask me. Yes, I know. I was waiting for the <laughs> opportune moment. May I? Uh-huh. <laughs> it's this one, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know these things. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, that's so pretty. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas. the movie about your life. Oh, yeah. You make those American mobster movies, uh, right? I like that lead actor you have. Um, uh, he's a diva. They all are in Hollywood. It's all right. <laughs> I need to get some champagne. OK, honey, you want some? no problem. Are you good? I'm good. OK, great. So, Greg, how is the new movie coming along? Excellent. Coming along so fine, I think in two months we'll be ready to roll. Very nice, very nice. You know what I was thinking, Greg? You ought to get Robert De Niro to play me in the movie. That would be great. Um. Isn't De Niro like 80, 80 years old? Could we get somebody a little bit, you know, maybe... Hey, better? Robert De Niro can play any part. He is a great actor. On top of that, he happens to be a very good personal friend of mine. What, you got a problem with my friend? Boys, get over uh, okay, okay, You okay, got okay, a okay, problem okay, okay, with my okay. friend? No, 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 no. I've got an idea. Okay. I think we can de-age him in the process. You know, the computer de-age him, like, you know, make him look a little younger, CGI, de-aging. We'll de-age him. Let me call him right now. Okay, okay. you do Thank that. You. Okay. Yes. Thank you, okay. What the hell does the age mean? Hey! Merry hey, Christmas! Merry Christmas! Buenas tardes! Merry Christmas! All right. Hey, I think you've got a job you might be interested in. Hey, 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 when you say a big score, what exactly is a big score? The biggest we've ever done. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Let's talk about it tomorrow. That's what I thought. Oh, guys! You starting without me or what? Merry Christmas, Tony. Merry Christmas, Al. Merry Come Christmas. here. Come here. Go ahead, please. Help yourself to whatever no, you want. I'm going to get it out. All right. So, how is my favorite Santa Claus doing today? How is my favorite Italian doing today? Better than you look in that suit. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, you bitch. 
Hey, hold on one second. I have a surprise for you. Here we go. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Very nice. Why don't you two get better acquainted over there? All right. Have a good time. <laughs> hey, Merry Christmas, Tony. My goodness, hey. How are you, honey? Hi. Remember Lisa, right? Of course. Yeah. Oh, Just like this. She is beautiful. We're getting married. Amazing. <laughs> I don't believe it. You know, I had a feeling about you two, you crazy <laughs> animal. <laughs> Let me see, like this, more, yeah, yeah. more, 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 uh, Oh, yeah, 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 of course. That yeah. is amazing. Congrats, guys. I will be Thank at you. the wedding. Do not worry about it. Please, Thank have you. fun. We're going to get a drink. You do that, crazy speech. guys. Speech, 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 All right, all right. I got something I would like to say to everybody. First of all, I am very happy that all of you came here today. I mean, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, it means the world to me. Second, what I would like to say to everyone out there and everybody in the entire world, please, Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Hey, Tony, remember this one? Uh, dancing through the snow. On the one horse open sleigh. Over the fields we go. Laughing all the way. Everybody, come on. <laughs> Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. This time.